Hello there! In this video, I am going to show you or take you through my brain process and how I do my different experiments and mixed media papers that I later use for collage. And sometimes I use them as is or cut them up and use them in my artwork. So this is sort of like taking you through what I do and how I organize my surface and all the materials are gonna always be listed in the description. If you're new here, my name is Marcy and I love everything crafty. So I really um, enjoy experimenting and using different things and I've used coffee for years. So in this video, I am using some coffee with gesso and other times with um, white gesso instead of clear gesso. So this is a little bit of experimenting and making my own different shades of coffee and I gotta tell you, I love them all. So this is the table where I put all my uh, papers that I'm gonna be working on. I tried to use different ones. Um, in this case, I'm mixing my coffee and my gesso in a paper palette, but you can use whatever you have. I've used different things before in the past, kind of like what I find first is what I use or what I'm feeling like it's what I use. So I have on top of here some book pages with gesso, I have some um, baking sheets and I have some dryer sheets and packing paper, also um, what's that name of that, uh, like it looks like onion paper, um, yeah so I have very different kinds of papers, I even have cotton fabric and regular old printer paper. I'm using my fabric castells that they um, reactivate with what are their watercolor pencils and this is my own making of my coffee kind of like pastel it's just um, a mix of coffee and water and then I just make it into like a little bar that I can paint with and when you wet it um, it will paint on your paper even better so here you can see that it activates it and then that's just coffee and water if you want to learn how to make this little kind of like crayon with coffee, <laughs> let me know and I'll make a tutorial about that. But yeah, I just start making marks in my paper. And I move from one paper to the other, wait for one to dry, then move to the other one. So here I'm going to um, use my bubbles. And if you haven't seen my video where I show you how I make coffee bubble bubbles to use on paper and mixed media. Um, I'll leave a link to that below. But yeah, this is just spreading some bubbles all over the different papers because these take long to dry because you kind of blow on them. And spoiler alert, some of them just popped because the window was open but it was really hot this day even though it's winter. That was ink and I'm mixing um, ink into the paper now. I'm just using the little dropper to kind of like doodle in circles with it and on top of the dry coffee already. You can see the bubbles to my left. Um, yeah, they're gonna pop but um, I'll show you later when I show you all the papers how that um, that turn out that turns out in case um, they don't pop. But um, yeah, I had to after this run to get my kids in school. And yeah, I left it on top of the table with the window open. So yeah, fault on me. Now I'm taking my um, watercolor pencil in like this kind of olivey green. And I'm just making circles. Don't worry, I'm gonna fast forward so that you don't go through the pain of seeing me doing this all the time but this is really cool because you can activate it while you're doing your collage or during this process which is what I like to do I like to do half normal or like untouched and the other half just wet it sometimes with water and sometimes with coffee because the two shades mix really good so here is my brown watercolor and I'm just going to make lines uh, while the ink is still wet so everything mixes and looks pretty cool. I sometimes like really messy stuff and some other times I like more cleaner looks so it depends on what your vibe is 
and this is some packing paper that came in an Amazon box and I'm just putting my mix of white gesso on coffee which is a really nice shade um, yeah and I'm with using the palette um, knife I am just making some marks in this so you can cut it up afterwards and use the different textures depending on what your collage is now here's the part where I wet the green with coffee and this is I believe it's coffee and gesso the clear gesso so that it sees through because I didn't want to make it opaque I like the kind of see through so that you can still look at the letters in the background this is kind of like the onion paper kind of looking paper so I scramble it up and scrunch it up and then drop ink and just playing and making different marks and making sure it gets really messy because when you do cut it and put it into a clean page it kind of becomes a focal point and I try to do different shades in the same paper uh, note to whoever is gonna do this um, this paper will let the water soak between like the gesso will go through it so that it will stick to your surface so make sure you kind of like unstick it from time to time so it doesn't uh, dry it up and sticks this is how the bubbles look kind of 3d because it's not dry yet that's why if they pop you won't get the texture but this turns out really cute so I'm probably gonna use that in a nice spread in my notebook but we'll see now I'm adding some water to my bubbles and try to make it a little bit more lighter because those bubbles are pretty dark and I wanted something a little bit more subtle almost that you can't see it but again I should probably cut this part of the video because they end up popping but I don't like to cut out the mistakes or not the mistakes but like the parts that didn't turn out as I expected because some people sometimes write to me and they're like so I used a blow dryer and it didn't work I'm like I never use a blow dryer and like this it's just kind of like to teach you that they don't come perfect to me too like to me either you know what I mean like some of them pop and that's okay and you can just try again this is what art it's fun about you know that you can try one thing and if it doesn't work then try it again because if it worked for someone it might as well work for you just try different things and probably the soap is not the right soap for you or the coffee that you're using is not dark enough you know just give different things a try and never give up because I am sure that you can come up with really cool stuff and this is how great things are invented too so please keep trying um if it didn't work the first time I'm sorry I just knocked my camera try again just keep going don't give up because art can be so relaxing and it can be interpreted differently so I will encourage you to just keep going and keep trying okay now I'm just moving my try but on this is I'm, I'm sorry about that <laughs> but um that's how I work I move my camera around and I keep working because if I focus on filming then it, my artwork is just not gonna be free flow so I apologize for that but you can see all my kind of different papers and how the bubbles are already popping on this side and even though I knew there weren't going to be bubbles I just let it dry and didn't do it again. Why? Because this has never happened to me in this kind of paper and I really wanted to see how it turned out. Now I'm kind of using this little sprayer bottle or like spritzer I don't know how you call that and kind of getting it a little bit more wet in different areas but the thing was almost out of water and it didn't really work that well so just trying something different do you have like a good sprayer that you use like if you do let me know because I just usually use the one that I use for ironing that I spray my plants on my clothes with but if you know something nice it will be nice if you leave it in the comments and let me know okay so I'm just adding water to the ink to activate it and make it bleed a little bit more just so you know I really like how this dryer sheet paper turned out it was really cool to experiment in something new and now I'm using more of that gesso in my um, cotton uh, piece of fabric I got this um, for like really cheap for like maybe less than a euro 
um, at a store that has a bunch of fabrics. They sold me like a little tiny little bit piece, like almost half of it, like double this. And this is just half of what I got. So it was a really tiny piece. But now I'm just using my watercolors to um, add a little bit more interest to the piece. Keep in mind that since I'm going to be cutting this up, I'm going to activate it once I do the collage. So yeah, this one sticks too. So be careful with that. Oh my god, I'm sorry about the camera. I should have cut this too. But anyways, I'm so sorry about that. Let me know if that's like really bugging you. And I won't do it again. I'll do a better job editing. But um, my thing is art and not editing. <laughs> technology and me, right? Who else sucks at technology? Yay! So I am just doing my coffee cup thing. And I'm adding ink to my coffee. You can totally do this in white or any other colors. And um, if you leave the little bubbly on the bottom, it will create that dark mark like I did to the right top. Um, corner and it looks really cool so okay back to that piece that I was texturing with my gesso before I'm adding ink to it and well I'm wetting it first and then adding ink to it because I wanted to make it runny and let it like spill all over the place this piece doesn't end up being my favorite but I do like how it looks and I am gonna cut this little baby up <laughs> sorry about my hairs <laughs> yeah you can tell we all have bad hair days. <laughs> now another experiment. This is where my mangoes come wrapped in um, on and I just try to wet it and make an imprint but it didn't work. So I grabbed some tape that I use for my art collages or collage art pieces or whatever and I try to tape it using this. Um, it's a craft tape and on one side it's really sticky and on the other side it's not so this it's really cool when you want to like stick some different um paper type or whatever texture on a piece that you're working on and then you can paint on top of it it's really cool i really like this okay so now i'm adding some leftover wall paint with baking soda because I wanted to give it kind of like a raised look and see how that would look on paper. I use this for my canvases. If you want me to share how I paint canvases with like different textures and coffee and all of that, let me know. Um, I just never had a request for like big canvas pieces and I could totally show you how I make mine and how I work the entire thing with coffee and gesso. I mean, they turn out really cool and they're not expensive to make at all. So just let me know and I'll do some big canvas pieces and I'll show you how I do wood around it and how they look pretty um, sophisticated kind of thing. So, and rustic at the same time, kind of farm but whatever. Now this is the paper that it's covering my um, table to protect it. Well, not my table, my piece of wood. And I was just going with the flow here and I was really feeling it and it was looking pretty cool. So I'm just running um, the paint all over the place and using what I have left to make another piece. This one turned out a little bit too busy and but it's really cool because I end up doodling on top of it. But this is what I had, like the ink and the coffee. And now I'm just spritzing some coffee into the wait, wait, uh, wet, wet paint. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need a coffee. And um, it looks pretty cool. Like I really like whenever I'm already inspired and stuff to come up with this you know, on top of the paper that you were using to protect your table. I do this all the time. I don't know if you do. Let me know if you do in the comments, but for now, I am just gonna let you watch it and then show you the results. Oh, and the white bubbles you're gonna see, it's uh, from white paint and water and soap. It's just some leftover wall paint that I have from my house. And it's the same process as when you make the coffee bubbles, but just instead of adding coffee, you add wall paint or acrylic paint or whatever kind of white paint you have with water and mix it with your soap. And then you get this really yummy um, bubbles that you're gonna see.
Okay, so I wanted to show you really quickly what the results are. This is the drying sheet. And I think it looks really cool, especially over here. But um, you can use either side and this will be great for collage. Now this one, remember this is water soluble. So whenever I'm cutting this up to use it in my collages, if I add water, it will like activate the color again but I have different textures here that I can work with. Now this is the um, bubbles. And this is really cool just as a starting piece and then you can doodle on top of it. Now we have the tissue paper and this one is good for collage too. Now this one didn't turn out as good because again, I had some airflow and the bubbles popped before it was time for them to pop but um you can kind of see right there some of the bubbles and i'm going to show you whenever it works and you don't have air what i do is i chop it up like i cut it and then i glue it to pieces and it's really cool so if you have like stones or pebbles in a drawing and then you use these, or if you have like a landscape and then you cut it, just make sure you seal it first because if you don't, then it will smudge like over here and they won't be as crisp as this one. So like, look at the difference. So just keep that in mind. And then this is the texture one. I don't think I like it for like my sketchbook or collages like that, but it's really cool if you want to make like a, you know a bigger piece and you can see some bubbles right there so this one i like this is a baking soda and paint on paper and i think this would really like this would be really cool for like a piece that you will hang on a wall or something and this one again is going to be activated with water but these over here I want to put some inks and keep going with this side. This one I want to leave it like that. I maybe cut like circles or squares. I don't know, different shapes. This one again, that right here, it's going to activate with water. So it's going to be pretty cool. This could be a piece of its own and I can just add some more white, white space to it or just chop it and cut it and do something with it. This one, it's kind of like a mix of everything. I really love this. So, and then this one, it's, I like it. It's just, it's too muddy for me. So this would be good to cut and use. And now this one, I doodle on top of it. You can see this bottom piece. This one I think is my favorite, you know, like the <laughs> using up your stuff and not being intentional about anything, not even your white space. And it turned out great. Look at those bubbles. Like, I really like those bubbles. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera. I'm by the camera, I mean my phone. So, those are really cool. And then here you can see this was more concentrated coffee. So it has kind of like a sheen to it. Kind of glows. Then over here you can see the texture paste. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up or not but yep it's really cool this one is the one with the ink and then you have this one again with kind of like that shine shiny spot right there but yeah this one I posted in one of the Facebook groups that I belong to that are like Full of artistic and creative people. Hey Maxie! And um, they said it will be probably be cool to cut them up and like probably, come here buddy, and probably like uh, sew around it or something like that. So just let me know what you will do to this piece because I really really like it. Um, so yeah, these are what the papers look like and I hope you like the little tutorial or a little sharing how I do my stuff so if you like it please make sure you do subscribe and like the video it makes me know it lets me know that you want to see more videos like this so okay I'm gonna let you go now but thanks so much for watching I have an amazing day
Bye.